Okay, Taurus, if you made it this far, welcome back. Um, we're going to go into your extended forecast here. And what I like to do is just summarize what I'm seeing here in your future. Um, the last row here, we had the Three of Cups reversed. The Three of Cups reversed with the Tower, the Three of Swords, the King of Swords, and the World. So like I said, I see a, a karmic cycle, a Saturn cycle really ending. A Saturn cycle would be seven years or more. We did just have Saturn move into Aquarius. So uh, we have six planets in Aquarius right now. So we're going to start to see a huge shift, especially when it comes to groups of people that you relate to your community. All right. A lot of this year, we're going to see huge shifts, shifts, shifts happening in people's communities. Okay, because uh, Aquarius rules the 11th house. The 11th house is the house of hopes and wishes, dreams, hopes, wishes, and dreams. But also, like the star here, it is about the community. All right, so uh, the groups you belong to and, um, you know, humanitarian efforts and causes. So what I am seeing here in your future is, I definitely see that you've been having issues with friends, a group of people you relate to. This could be, you know, anything from friends and family members to your neighbors to uh, people. I'm not really seeing this as people you work with. But th this would be people that you would consider to be your equals, your friends. And I'm really getting here kind of um, a revelation, aha moment, where you really are looking at who these people are and if they have really kind of the damage they've really done is felt deeply here. And I'm really seeing uh, Taurus that you realize that you're kind of better off on your own and that you can kind of, you're more, you, you're more independent than you think than you think. Okay. Uh, you may also realize that you, You'd rather just be single right now and not deal with, with groups of people. You'd rather not deal with your friends right now because they haven't really been supportive. They've been kind of gossiping behind your back, talking behind your back. They've been, you know, ghosting you. Um, they've been kind of bad influencers, okay? Some of them maybe have pressured you um, into doing things that you know are not good for you, like going out and drinking or eating too much or I don't know, something here, you realize they're the reason why you're doing what you've been doing, what you've been doing, and it hasn't been healthy. So we have the three of swords and the king of swords. So this is you making a necessary sacrifice, looking the bull in the eyes or taking the bull by the horns, I should say, and or looking the horse in the mouth and saying, look, you know, I'm going to have to let go of this if I want to improve myself. I'm going to have to let go of these people if I want to improve myself. And then the king of swords here is you saying, putting down your foot and kind of taking your power back here, setting some strong boundaries up and being, uh, taking the emotions out of it and kind of looking at things logically, objectively, you know, doing things by the book and kind of seeing like, um, you know, you, you realize now where you went wrong and where you need to be going. And this is the end of a cycle here. So we're going to go a couple more weeks out here. Let's see what else is going on for you. Uh, this would be, so we, we covered uh, next week. So let's go into the following week. Yeah, so I did see that uh, you may have ditched a fire sign here, and I'm seeing that they are still waiting on communication from you. But um, I'm not seeing I'm not seeing that they're getting communication from you. I'm seeing that they've been blocked on social media, 
or they're anxious to hear from you, but I see you really being strong here. And uh, I don't think you I don't think you feel much about this person. OK, so you or them could be also hiding, hiding out here with the hermit in reverse. I feel like this is you. I feel like you are ghosting a fire sign. All right. Leo Aries Sagittarius. And by the way, they went from being a queen of wands reverse to a page. Yeah. So seriously, you, you just, uh, you just, you're just, um, I'm really getting Taurus. You're taking back your power here. And I've been seeing that for a lot of signs. Now we have the two of swords reverse, the four of wands, four of wands reverse, the empress and the five of swords. So again, you're not talking to this fire sign. In fact, I'm seeing the silent treatment here. This person might have been someone that you lived with because I'm seeing a broken home or family here. I'm also seeing disruptions around the home or family. But there you are, Taurus, the Empress. So coming up as the Empress, you realize that you're abundant. You realize that you can manifest more of whatever it is you want. You realize that you are Venus. You are Aphrodite. You are powerful. You're also strongly coming up in your feminine element here. So your, your feminine power is very strong at this time. Your ability to mother and nurture and care for others and yourself. Five of swords. All you do is win. All you do is win. And you are taking back your power here. And usually if I see the five of swords... Yes, it is my asshole card, but sometimes people does sometimes people need to get what they deserve. And this is definitely one of those moments where I feel like you needed to take your power back from this person. Next we have judgment, death, final decision, no recourse. Um, death is just here to say that um, not only have you made up your mind, you're also uh, taking the uh, how do I say it? The blackboard eraser and you're, you're kind of washing, washing it all away and kind of clearing. This is a huge clearing energy here. Uh, this fire sign or this water sign is coming up again and they're quite uh, immature. I'm seeing this could be a, a water sign, a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. And now they're complaining and they're upset. Uh, Actually, I don't know who this person is. You have a page of cups reversed with the six of wands. Again, this could be someone that has strong Leo in their chart. Of uh, This person is a huge baby, okay? This may be someone that you live with. But the ten of pentacles just says that you are good when it comes to your money. You have secured the bag. You are good when it comes to your family. And um, you are surrounded by some very immature people here is what I'm getting very immature. You have a page of wands here and a page of cups reverse. So you could have two children. Uh, the water sign, this water sign child here is um, very, very petty, very, very petty. It seems like they just want attention. So what they do is they, um, they kind of pout and a very disappointing person. This is a very disappointing person. Um, with a huge ego, and they love to get attention by whining and complaining. Complaining. So let me go ahead and pull some romance angels for you. Try and get some guidance for your love life, Taurus. Who's your guidance for Taurus for the month of February? Who's your guidance for Taurus? Romance angels. Love messages for Taurus. Love messages for Taurus. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Interesting, those came up reversed. Love messages for Taurus. A lot of family stuff coming up for you uh, this month, Taurus. Um, I'm really getting that you have some blocks here when it comes to love and romance. 
Um, one thing is that um, because these both came up reversed, uh, there's a block to passion right now. And what they want you to do is to open your heart, uh, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. So some of you need to increase the passion factor here. All right. So what can you do to allow your heart and soul to sing with joy? Or there's a block to someone that you have a passionate relationship with. They also want you to keep an open mind. That was also in the reverse. So um, your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectation. So try to not limit yourself when it comes to the kinds of people you uh, associate with, um, the kinds of people you might be interested in dating. All right, because I feel like these two cards go together here. All right, so you might be kind of closed off to passion this month. You might kind of not um, be looking. You kind of need to stop limiting yourself to the same types of people. Keep an open mind. We are in Aquarian time, so very important. And then healing the family issues and children. I do see children coming up. I see a fire sign child and a water sign child. But your love life is being affected by children this month. We also have healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents, specifically a father figure here. So going back to the root of the issue here, I'm also seeing two children need, need more time with their father or two children here are needing to heal a dynamic. This, I'm getting a very karmic situation here. It's like, um, yeah, I'm getting that it goes back a generation with the children and the father figure here and the healing the family issues. Let's pull a crystal here to see what will help energize you. What crystal will help energize Taurus this month? This is so interesting. Meteorite came up for Aries as well. So you could be a Taurus, Aries cusper. You could be dealing with an Aries. But um, you have meteorites. Uh, we also have Lemurian quartz, which I absolutely love. Um, I do have some Lemurian quartz here. This is a scarlet uh, strawberry uh, Lemurian quartz. All right. So we'll talk about that. And then you also have black tourmaline. So I feel you do need some protection, black tourmaline. Um, is a very powerful protective crystal. I recommend um, if you get no crystals this month that you get black tourmaline and definitely keep it on you. Um, I like the pier. I like these little pyramids here. I don't know what you call this. It's, it looks like a monument, but whatever you do, uh, if there's no crystals that you end up getting, uh, the Lemurian quartz is a little bit harder to obtain, and I don't know where you can get meteorite, but. Um, I recommend getting the black tourmaline if you get nothing at all. So what it is, a grounding black tourmaline is a slightly magnetized, semi-precious gemstone with a reputation for protecting a delicate psyche from a case of the crazies and establishing powerful energetic boundaries between you and all the zombies out there. Who needs it? Everyone. Exactly. This is a universal crystal. Where to put it? Besides your doors to keep emotional vampires out. On your person, in your pocket, everywhere. Um, so they want you to protect your light. So I definitely, I'm definitely getting there's a Taurus here that is opening their doors to too many people that want to talk. And what they these people come in, they want to have a conversation with you. They end up draining your energy. Psychic vampires, emotional vampires, you know the kind. I'm definitely seeing that you um, are starting to realize that some of your friends, some of the people you keep closest to you are psychic vampires, emotional vampires, and you need to start warding them off. So keep a black tourmaline by your door and on your person. I would actually, I might even go so far as to use black salt because I'm getting there's a, a Taurus out there that uh, these people are coming up to your door and trying to... They're around your building or they're in your living environment. Okay, getting that for you. We also have Lemurian Quartz. 
what it is. Lemurian quartz is identifiable by its blushing hue and the ladder-like horizontal grooves that climb up its face. Its name is a shout out to Lemuria, a fabled lost continent whose highly evolved inhabitants, some far out folks insist, now live under Mount Shasta in California. Who needs it? Anyone in need of a vacation from their thoughts? Where to put it, Lemurians are like wands. Point them at body parts, friends, and other crystals that need more juice. Um, this is a very powerful healing crystal, by the way. It's great for Reiki, and it is uh, good for uh, acute pain centers. Where to use it? Wherever, Whenever someone or something you love needs a zap of healing energy, awaken your inner wizard or witch and cast a spell with Lemurian quartz. So if you want to help heal someone... Okay, um, this is a great wand uh, tool. So that's part of the reason why I have it, because I'm a wand. I am a fire sign. So if you have fire in your chart, like I said, um, Aries, for example, if you're an, if you have Aries, you're dealing with an Aries, you want to heal an Aries, Lemurian quartz, use it like a magic wand to cast your spell for healing. Now we have meteorite, which came up for Aries. So you may want to watch the Aries reading. Some of you are dealing with an Aries this month. Meteorite, what it is. Meteorites are extraterrestrial rocks flung from space. They've been carbon dated to the beginning of time, i.e. even older than our sun. Meteorites come in three forms, nickel iron, chondrites, and palisites infused with radiant peridot. Who needs it? Children of the stars. Where to put it? Wherever you gaze toward distant constellations, with or without opening your eyes. So astral travel. Um, this could also be out-of-body experiences, dream states, trance states. Um, I'm also getting meteorite will help you uh, think further out into the future, planning, future planning, uh, future sight, foresight. When to use it? When you're looking to conduct more spiritual energy, try nickel iron meteorite. When you're looking to chat with a friend in another galaxy, go with trondite. Trondite. No, it's chondrite meteorite. When you want to feel aligned to that universal energy that pulsates through everything, try palisite. <clears throat> there goes my voice. So they want you to connect to your star stuff. So this would be, first I would recommend getting the tourmaline, okay? This is for protection. Keep it all by your door. I would also, in addition, recommend if you have a really, if you're having uh, psychic attacks, uh, psychic vampires, zombies coming up to you, I would actually recommend putting an extra layer of protection using black salt uh, across your door after you cleanse that area with sage um, and ask any negative energy, energy vampires to leave. I would then seal your door with the black salt. Lemurian quartz, um, this would be for my intermediate uh, people here that are interested in collecting series collecting crystals um, and this is great for healing it is like a wand so you can point it at body parts or other crystals to energize them you can also use this uh, for zaps of healing um, to awaken your inner wizard wizard or witch or to cast a spell this is really good for for those of you uh, taurians who want to cast a spell on someone or uh, yeah that's what i'm getting and then we have the meteorite so uh, lastly, I would recommend getting meteorite really this, like I said, for increased foresight vision, also for speaking to, uh, this is for those of you who are really far out there, really out there. Those of you who want to communicate with friends and other galaxies. So your other star friends out there. Okay. So you, for example, parallel universes, uh, you could even talk to yourself in another galaxy. So if you're interested in going that far out, I would recommend getting meteorite. Of course, I do not have any meteorite on me. Um, I think I'm going to start, I'm going to think about investing in some though, because it's a pretty cool crystal. Pretty cool. All right. Taurus, this is what I have for you for the middle of February going into really March. Uh, we did go about two or three more weeks out. So I hope you enjoyed this reading. Once again, guys, take good care and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.